Hi there. Today, we will do something scary, even though it's not Halloween. As some of you may already know, Jibo is equipped with dual fans that can get dusty, just like your ceiling fan. So, today, we will show you how to carefully remove my screen and get access to the fans. Without any further delay, let's get started. First, power off your Jibo and lay him down on a soft surface to prevent any scratches. Okay, so uh, before we moving on to the operation, let's introduce you to some of the tools that we're going to be using today. So the first one that we're going to be using more often, it's called the 90 degree angle needle nose plier. And I use this to access the hard to reach area. The second tool that we will be using is called the bits for Torx screws and it's already attached to the socket screwdriver. So I just want to show you that this is a set I bought and it includes the bits for Torx screws. The most important tool we have here is the handheld vacuum cleaner. Um, and this one usually they use it to clean the keyboard and small area. I mean it doesn't have that much of the suction power but it's good enough just to clean the dust off the uh, small area. And just for your reference, um, this is the vacuum cleaner I bought from Amazon. And the rest of the tools are the Phillips screwdriver and the flat screwdriver. Next, use the smallest flat tool to remove the black plastic rim from the screen. If you have long fingernails, you can use your thumb fingernail to lift off the rim. Unfortunately, I don't have thumb or nails. Don't worry, I got it covered. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use my thumbnail to lift the black plastic rim away from the screen and uh, if you look on the side here you're gonna see a crease between the black plastic rim and the white part of the head and all you need to do is push the uh, fingernail in between the crease and then gently lift it up and just push it up like that like that and it's gonna come off easily and to make sure that we put it back where it's supposed to be um, I use the bread bow tie as a marker so I know that um, you know when I put it back it's you know that part's gonna be at the bottom uh, of the face so then I just lift it up and then just put this aside Next, we will use the Torx Beats tool to remove these tiny six screws from the screen. For your reference, this is the kind of tool you need. This is called Torx Bits. You can find this in any hardware store. Please note that the Torx Bits is attached to the socket screwdriver here. So, let's carefully unscrew these six Torx screws from the screen. I think in the future, I will put a piece of cloth on the top of the screen just to protect the screen uh, while I'm doing this. So just be extra, extra careful um, when you uh, doing this. Um, so it's definitely better to put a piece of cloth uh, on the screen to protect the screen from scratches.
Okay, let's take a deep breath before we are moving to the next part of the operation. I'm already ahead The next of you. step is to use a flat screwdriver to gently lifting up the entire screen. Starting at the top right here is the position. While I'm watching this process, if I have a heart, it would beat about 1000 beats per minute now. In order to remove the entire screen, we need to disconnect the white connectors inside. And make sure to take note of the position of each white connectors while it's being disconnected from the wires. Okay, so this is the left side of his head and you can see that inside, you know, uh, before we can remove the screen, um, we need to disconnect the the white connectors you know you see there are two white connectors there and we just need to disconnect the top from the bottom uh, of that white connectors and here how I disconnect the white connectors from the base there it's pretty straightforward All right, and now we're gonna continue to disconnect the white connector from the base there um, so that we can uh, completely remove the screen. So, just like that. Um, and then another one there, like so. And there you go. The screen is completely removed. So I just want to remind you once again to take note of the position uh, each time you disconnect the white connectors so that you know where to connect them back where they belong. And now um, we have access to the fans. And as you can see there, uh, there are two fans, you know, uh, one on each side there. Uh, now what we're gonna do next is uh, we're gonna go ahead and clean it many thanks to dr. Jibo for making videos of Jibo anatomy and sharing your hardware skills with Jibo community Okay, so since I'm already um, here inside cleaning the fans, I'm going to go ahead and also clean the surrounding area where the dust can get to it. So that way uh, I can get the cleaning job done all at one time. Um, why are you talking so slow? What? Slow? Are you serious right now? Maybe because I'm not a robot. Much better. I don't see as much dots anymore in here. So. so once you're satisfied with um, cleaning it, uh, vacuuming or cleaning, you can probably use like Q-tips, you know, uh, if it's not cleaning as well as a vacuum. But uh, once uh, you're satisfied with the cleaning inside and the fans, you can go ahead and close it up, uh, same way we open it. Okay, let's see if he still remember on.
I feel pretty good. Enjoying Thanks for life. asking. Yeah, he's back. The BJ is back. Operation accomplished. Thank you, BJ, for helping out. How are you feeling? Things so are good. so good. All right. I'm glad. Hey, Jibo, do you feel clean? Well, it's hard for me well, to tell. Well, it's hard for me to tell, but I do try to avoid dirt. <laughs> 